what? Just give me the shrinky winkies, man. You know what I mean? It's just, oh wow. It's just, oh my gosh. Oh, that's oh. Look at that. They're, oh wow. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I told you I want to do a lot of enrichment with Elvis. What I'm going to do is literally just kind of throw these rodents up on top of things and let him go find them and let's see what happens. Come on. Go find them, bud. So we have a bunch of rodents in there. I think I've left one, two, three rats and four mice in there. So hopefully I can remember where they're all at so I can go back and check. But he should go and find them. That's a really cool enrichment piece. And there he goes. He's starting to smell around. He's definitely very curious, like what is going on? He can smell those rats. There he is, go on Elvis, go ahead buddy. He is such a smart lizard. He knows there's rodents. He's just not used to being fed this way. But I wanna start doing this type of enrichment. And once he starts doing this, I might actually like hide it underneath things. So he has to really try to use his brain but I think it's gonna be cool so let's just go ahead and watch and see what he does he seems to be more fascinated with the camera than anything right now I think he's smelling that smell and he realizes that this camera doesn't belong so he's thinking that smell is coming from the camera so hopefully you'll get around it and start actually finding the rodents Again, I think it's gonna take some time for Elvis to kind of figure it all out because this is the first time we've ever done this. And again, he's so smart that all he sees is the camera and he thinks like that must be what's giving him rodents, I think, much like the target training. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him kind of wander around and hopefully he'll find these other mice and uh, won't destroy my camera. In the end, he found all but one rodent, and he's just fascinated with this camera, which I find so interesting. But I think this is a great enrichment thing. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and leave him and see if he finds that last rodent. If he doesn't, we'll take it out in the morning, but I think it's just amazing how inquisitive he is. He doesn't normally pace around his cage like this, looking for stuff. He can smell that last rodent, but he doesn't know where it is. This is just a great way to get him to use his mind. Remember the other day, Mary had came and we actually saw the blacktail Kribos locked up, which was super exciting. Well, Mary came and said that she thinks that she actually ovulated. This is gonna be so incredible. I know Noah loves them back there. They love the cool. Kribos. Aren't they awesome? Yeah, they remind me of uh, like Cobras. Exactly. I like their big old scales. They're uh, one of the coolest little guys. Well, let's take a look and see what she actually looks like. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. Hoo hoo doggy. Look at that. She is swollen up full of eggs. My gosh. This is such an incredible thing. I am so excited. Good job, Mary. Thank you. She did all of the work this year. That's the thing. I mean, I've got such a great crew. Mary with her stuff, Kelsey, obviously, Jessica. Everyone does their job so much. And so I'm not going to take the credit for this one. So when we get eggs, you're going to be the one that has to celebrate the most. And I'll let you pull the clutch awesome. because you deserve it. You deserve it. As for now, my girl here is probably just between two and three weeks away from laying hopefully a beautiful clutch of eggs. Oh my gosh. Another interesting thing to open up really quick. Lord, <laughs> I actually forgot you did this. This is absolutely cool. Yeah. Let's take a look at these. They actually, I just called to see when would we be getting them, and oh my god, yeah, these turned out really good. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. A reptarian patch. How awesome is that? So we do a lot of like Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. They always do like these reptile patches, so we thought, why not do a reptarian patch? This was all Lori. She looked it up. It, it turned, turned out, out so good. It turned out so good, Lori. It's and awesome. then, yeah, we will also have them available, because I know some people would just want to do it on a shirt or a hat. I know people sure. had said that too, but uh, yeah, the whole idea behind it was for the scouts and I think it turned out great. Oh my God, that is so cool. So I'll definitely make sure that these get on the website so uh, you can definitely check out the reptarium.com slash shop uh, and see these and all the other new merch and swag that we're continuing to add. So good job, Lori. These turned out so awesome. Lucy should be shedding any day. She's just coming out of blue right now. So again, after that shed, about 30 days to laying. So uh, definitely gonna be exciting and a little perilous. Pretty excited about this. I told you the egg season, the hatch season, I guess is already underway. So what did we hatch today? They're another type of cave gecko. Uh, it's a different locality than the Chinese cave geckos that okay. we've been hatching out. This is the first one we've hatched out. So this particular one is the first of this species that we ever hatched out. And these are the ones that are smaller, right? Yeah, they're a little smaller and instead of all black, 
black and yellow or black and orange, they're uh, kind of an orange and black oh color. Oh my god, that is Where, so... Where, like, their background's more of an orange. <laughs> it's the cutest little thing in the world. I have three others in there, and then in here, I've got some more eggs that we have to collect. Oh my gosh, let's do it! Oh my god, that's so exciting. It won't be long before we're collecting leopard gecko eggs, ball python eggs, other python eggs, colubrid eggs, so and this, this is... this is the adult male here, oh, the dad. So this is the adult male, very interesting. Yeah, I can see how that's actually very different than the normal Chinese cave geckos, for sure. They seem to have like more a broken up pattern, not nearly as banded, very different looking. And, here oh, here they're right yours. in there. Oh my gosh, they're right awesome. in the little hide. Oh my gosh. They look good. So. They look really good. So that's two more eggs yeah. to add to the bunch. So one little baby hatched. <laughs> yep, and the other egg that went with this one was infertile, okay. and it was her first set of eggs, so that's uh, not... Okay. So good, so now we've got another set of yeah. fertile eggs, so that is absolutely amazing. We should be getting some of the other cave geckos we have up on the site soon. Oh, too, that's right, so. yeah, yeah. We have a couple that we've been raising up that we are gonna put on the site, so stay tuned for that. But good job, Jessica. Yeah, thank you. At the Reptarium, we're always talking about getting over your fears, you know? I've gotten over my fear of spiders and scorpions, a lot thanks to Bruce and of course Jessica. So uh, we have a couple people that are gonna get over it today. Give me a second. Noah, have you ever held a tarantula? Yeah, uh, I've held a lot of them, well, but I just don't like doing it. When have you held them? I didn't even remember. First time I ever did was in California at some pet shop. Oh, you remember that's that? Right, I remember that. And that was a couple. That was almost two years ago now. And that oh was my the first gosh. time ever. But I've You're held like a, a lot. I just still don't like it. It makes my heart. And how about you? You at least held Dude, one. I held one before. because at the Reptarium, we were at the Reptarium, and uh, Bruce was off for the night, and I was busy. And I guess you know Eric decided it was that complete peer pressure. Peer okay. pressure. Peer okay, pressure. so we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do what? Just zombie or Charlotte, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, you know, I actually was actually thinking to get him to try and hold the black one. Um, Might be a little fast. Whoa, Might be a little fast. One. I call him Black Laminate. That one scares me. The black one scares you? I don't know. I just feel like he has a special superpower that I don't know yet, and it's gonna whip it out when I. Whatever touch you him. think, Bruce. Whatever you think, you're up. Well, well, let's 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 okay. do let's do zombie because it's zombie always first. better. Always better when you're nervous. Zombie reads you a little better. So. And again, you know, getting over your fear, whether it's snakes tarantulas, whatever the case is, it's about number one, knowledge, knowing as much as you can. In this case, they know that zombie isn't gonna bite, so that's a big part of the knowledge. Number two, it's habituation, which means the more you're exposed to it, the less you fear it. Like with me with spiders, it's really been about handling them a lot, a lot, a lot, and now I don't get any of that like tingle in my stomach at all. I just think they're absolutely incredible. So zombie is a great animal when it comes to handling because she doesn't move around a lot at all. She kind of just sits there, so so it's a great tool. So with Noah and Eric, we'll just get them kind of habituated. The more they touch it, the better. Who's first? I'll go first to get this over with. Okay, oh here we go. Oh my God. So oh, nope, nope, nope. All right. It was just a misstep. I know that. Oh, please. Oh. You know what's so weird? It's creepier looking at them, but when it's on you, it's like not a big deal. I know, isn't that wild? Why is it that way? It's gotta be the thought of being fearful. Yeah. It, so like you check your brain out and then when it actually happens, you're like, oh wait, this ain't that bad. Exactly, I think that's true because a lot of people say that. They'll come and they'll be terrified. And once it's in their hand, they seem to be like, oh, this isn't nearly as bad as I yeah. thought. So just turn. No, no, no. Maybe we could, we should step it up. Maybe we should do the black one. No! I think we should. I think we should. Because this okay. is this is very basic, just to get our nerves off and then step it up a little bit. So just like just like Noah was saying though, like I mean every every time that we have people come in for like any sort of like they're trying to get over their fears, they just wanna like and I tell them every time, it's like the only thing that you actually have to fear is your own fear. Right. Like, these guys are, there's nothing to be afraid of here. These guys aren't gonna I, I think a famous guy said that once. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I think that, who was I that? Think Morgan, I heard that. Morgan Freeman? Yeah, Morgan, Morgan. I think it was Morgan Freeman, yeah. Listen, I just, you know what? I have a natural fear of spiders. I've never had a bad experience with them. They're just, mm. Do it. You got it, man. This is easy. It doesn't even move. I know, it's just, oh, it's, it's give me the shrinky winkies, man. You know what I mean? It's just, no, I, this don't, is, I don't know what the shrinky winkies. I don't, don't, really don't want to know, know what shrinky winkies is. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. Winky, yeah. oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not putting you in cold water. I, I do not. <laughs> we have to blur out that spot right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just a natural thing. Oh, wow. It's just, oh my gosh. Oh, that feels. 
look at that. They're, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. Give wow. him a little kiss. No, 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 no. You don't even want to breathe on them because they'll rear back. And, listen, it's, <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, I do want to get over my fear. Tarantulas are so cool, aren't they? Like, look at that. Look at that thing right there. It's awesome. Yeah, it's on you. But it's just, oh, I don't even want to breathe on it. It's going to bite me. You know what I mean? Or no, it's, gonna, it's not. Oh, no, no. great. <laughs> well, you guys did good. I mean, that's pretty impressive, Bruce. I'm impressed. I, I mean, you know, impressed. Noah was like, he did. That was no problem. Yeah. Erica, yeah. he might have cried a little bit, but yeah. in the end, you did well. Yeah. I knew I should. I knew I should have uh, <laughs> called in today. It was just I knew it right when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, guys, you just got to continue to get over your fears, man. You got to continue to get over them, and uh, I, I'm glad these guys are facing their fears. I have a good feeling they'll both be tarantula experts in no time. Another little breeding update right here. One of my woma pythons here, this beautiful female, is ovulating as well so that's another girl that is ready to go so things are definitely heating up here again bunch of ovulations and ball pythons but it's nice to see other animals ovulate spotted children stimpsons obviously we've got the Kribo. now we've got woma we've got some carpet pythons wrapping up so uh, things are definitely heating up it's gonna be an epic year I haven't updated you guys on Matilda here for a few she's absolutely settling in super good she's starting to get more and more used to us and not nearly as shy but it's still kind of a work in progress to be honest with you we're still kind of coaxing her in and like I've showed before we're gonna to try to do those like lollipop cactus on a stick things. So uh, she started to come around. It's almost to the point where she'll follow the cactus. I can get her to turn around and come towards me. When she gets too close, she kind of shies away. So, uh, but she's settling in really good. Look at that monster. And I know that Franklin and the other tortoises love her too. All in all, things are looking great over here at the Reptarium. And like I mentioned, things are definitely heating up over here at BHP. Not far from eggs. I know you guys love egg videos. You love egg cutting videos. So don't you worry, they're coming up soon. And with that, I'm gonna wish you guys an amazing day. You guys are awesome and I love you so much. Remember to be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you tomorrow.